Hey folks, Asia the CEO here, and this video we're getting back to the basics. We're about ready to build a uh, presentation system for New Hope. This is the on-site that I just did and did a walkthrough, and this is the system that's going to be able to handle multiple screens, multiple outputs, and all this other fun stuff to run ProPresenter. So let's go ahead over to my messy desk and let's talk about all the parts that's going to be used for this system. Alrighty, folks, so we got some other, uh, my, my different setup here. I need a bigger table here for this, and I still forgot to get my screwdriver. Oh, well. Um, so this system is needs to be able to support dual screens um, for the operator, an output that's going for a stage display, as well as, well, actually, hold on. Let's do that again. We got two outputs for the two monitors, the dual screen monitors for the operator, we need to have an output that's going to be for the stage display. We need an output that's going to go to the main audience display from ProPresenter. Then we also need a fifth display, which is going to be formatted in lower third format through ProPresenter, similar to what we do at Signs and Wonders. So what's the specs of this system? Um, let me get my stuff out the way. So actually, you can see. Let's start backwards this time. So we got ourselves a 500 watt power supply. Actually, excuse me. Yeah, 500 watt power supply. This should be more than enough. I mean, it's possible that we can go to something more. I don't think that's needed. But hey, we got um, what we need here. EVGA, bronze, excuse me, gold here. We, since we need more outputs, I'm actually going with a Ryzen five, uh, what was this? I forgot it, it's 5600. Yeah, so it's not a 5600G, because I needed a graphics card that can output multiple displays, so that's what we got with this. More than enough horsepower, but that's the CPU of choice that we're going with. We have a one terabyte NVMe, and we actually supposed to have another four terabyte, um, but it looks like it hasn't come in yet, but this is going to be our main OS drive here. We got 16 gigs of 3600 uh, memory here, and that's the T-Force memory. We used this before. Great price um, and good performance. You know we're going with our B550 DS3H gigabyte motherboard. I, mean, I just haven't found anything at a good price that performs as well as these, so that's why I'm sticking with this. I am also, thankfully the price has gone down on these, I have got a RTX 2060 that has four dedicated outputs. But again, we have five. What are we going to use for that? That is where we're going to use this mini monitor. This mini monitor is going to be programmed just in ProPresenter, and this is what's going to handle the stage display in the back. I wanted to get two of these. But when I looked at the price of getting two of these, I could get this card, which was only $300. Two of these were going for $150 each. That's $300. I could have got this. So we had this mini monitor here that's been working perfectly fine. So we're going to use this for the stage display. Yay. And I have my case, and it's the Thermatake case that I always use. So I don't need to really bring that up. But um, now that I have a nice little setup here, Let's commence the building the system, shall we?
All righty, we are all done. Um, all I'm going to do now is install the operating system, and I, I need to verify. I thought I ordered a four terabyte drive to go with this. Actually, I know I did. Um, so that's the only thing I need to add, but that's not going to stop anything. I can install everything first and then always add the drive later. I got the extra screws that snap onto the front. I already ran an extra cable for that, but um, this is a very powerful system and it can handle whatever <laughs> presentation software that you throw at it. Now, the only thing I, I really wish Presenter could actually utilize the Decklink mini monitors. They don't right now. But um, the fact that they specifically said they wanted to use ProPresenter, this is going to be good. So we have four outputs. So we got the two monitors, we got the ATEM, we have the feed that's going to the audience, and then we have the uh, mini monitor, which is going to be the stage display. Um, so that's about it. Parts are down below to everything that I used. And let me know if you have any other questions, drop them down below. And I try to get back to as, all of the comments as much as I possibly can, except for the spam ones. I don't respond to those. I just block those. But um, anyway, folks, I will take you along um, when we, because we did get the contract. Um, once we put everything in place, because I don't know if you can see all the boxes and stuff like that that I got around here, it's for um, New Hope. So um, obviously we got the contract, which I'm thanking God for, and we're going to be taking this down here and we just, you know, help modernize the media ministry. So if you have any other questions, let me know. And that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.